In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Thermorite TLC12015, a 15 millimeter thick fan. Let's check it out. So first, how does it rank against other fans? For most recent data, I do recommend that you take a look at one of my best of videos because it'll have the most recent ranking information. That time of this uh, script being written, this is where ranked overall in cooler uh, testing as well as the case simulation and in CFM. So overall it ranks pretty well all things considered being a fairly thin fan. So let's check it out. Before we get into the data, I would like to thank Mint Mobile for being today's video partner. Thanks to Mint Mobile's wireless plans, it is possible to not only switch away from big expensive mobile companies, but also to have a quality affordable plan for me and my family. Mint Mobile's Premium wireless plans start at just $15 a month for a three-month plan. For that, I can get high-speed data and unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network. I can bring my own phone and keep my current phone number, so you don't need to memorize a new phone number, something I have always found difficult. Switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, which most phones have, you can sign up and activate immediately right from your own phone, from the comfort of your own home. If by any chance your phone doesn't have an eSIM card, Mint will ship you a new SIM card free of charge. And right now for new customers, Mint Mobile is offering 50% off their 12 month unlimited plan. It's the best deal of the year, but it's only available for a limited time. If you're interested in learning more about Mint Mobile and switching, visit my link up above or the link in the video description down below. The first series of tests are the case simulation test. It's taken at a couple key measurement locations to coordinate against various computer case sizes. The first computer case size would be the Sixes Mark. It's a mini ITX type case. Think holding 120 millimeter class fan in terms of its length, and it's assuming direct airflow towards a CPU air cooler. The Sixes Mark is also very applicable towards putting a fan at the bottom of your case and blowing it up towards your GPU for that sort of cooling situation. The 9-inch mark is a compact tower. Think a case that can hold a standard ATX motherboard, but not a lot of extra room beyond that, or 220 millimeter class fans. Or uh, Then we have the 11-inch mark. This would be your standard mid-tower cases. Think a case that can hold 320s or standard 360 AIO. And then at 14.5 inches, we have uh, truly large towers that can hold 340 millimeter class fans. So think something like the Fractal Design Torrent would be a truly large tower. Then we need something to compare against. I have a control fan as well as a number of other fans I want to cross compare uh, this one against as well as the B variant of this fan. And it performs remarkably well against my control fan. All things considered just a little bit underperforming, but considering that it's half the thickness approximately, it's doing really quite well. At 100% PWM fan signaling, well, RPM does matter, and it's got a lower RPM, but it's, so it still performs relatively closely to my control fan at 100%, despite the more than 500 RPM difference between it and my control fan. Uh, noise normalized results, again, versus other fans, right in the middle of the pack. So that's really impressive for such a thin fan. And uh, there are a couple other 15 millimeter thick fans on here, so like it's outperforming them. So again, great result for this fan. At 100%, again, RPM does matter, it's underperforming. But uh, if you're just trying to stick a fan into a small case, you don't have a lot of options, and it performs really well, all things considered. In terms of its ranking and its blade design, so airspeed versus noise, right in the middle of the pack. The line is a little bit flatter, so it doesn't quite gain the sort of air speeds that thicker fans do, but overall, it's a impressive result nonetheless. Now performance for my CPU air cooler. At this time, I'd like to thank my Patreon and YouTube members. You guys rock, and anybody who's given me supers. 
because it's thanks to that sort of support, I was able to recently buy a radiator to add to this testing. Unfortunately, I still don't have a test system, so I'm only able to get measure air speeds going through the radiator, just like I'm measuring air speeds going through the Noctua U12A air cooler. And so far, I'm finding that the air speeds traveling through said coolers are near on equivalent. I'm not calling the cooling potential of the devices the same. I'm calling the resistance to airflow approximately the same between the two. So if you would like to help support this channel, Patreon or YouTube membership really does go a long way. Um, I understand it's not a uh, means for everybody, but just hitting that subscribe button does go a long way. So I appreciate in each and every one of you who well are sitting here and watching my videos. So RPM versus airspeed, this is basically a blade efficiency graph. It is how good is this blade design at pushing air through a radiator. And all of them are right in line with my control fan. They don't have the same kind of top end, but overall a fairly impressive result. Uh, noise versus that air speed. Well, they're doing really well. They're almost in line with my control fan. Not quite as good at every data point, but close enough that I'm fairly impressed with the blade design, fan design. How about empirical raking versus other fans? Well, the 120 right here, the B variant does better, but it's a right in the middle, little bottom, a little bit below middle, but it's a great result. I'm very impressed by it, and it's better than many of the other 15 millimeter thick fans, noise normalized. At 100% pedal and fan signaling, well, it doesn't have the same RPM, it just doesn't have the same grunt, so it falls behind the higher RPM fans. Again, it's to be expected. If you're running a fairly low-powered CPU, it would do just fine. But if you have anything more powerful, um, you're going to want a stronger fan, essentially. But it would do in a pinch. In terms of its rating, airspeed versus decibels, again, it's sort of in the middle of the pack for this uh, cross selection of good fans. It just doesn't have the same top end that other fans do. So in its limited RPM range, it does well. Now we're into CFM testing. CFM testing is very simple. You have a fan, you have a tube, you blow air down the tube, and it ignores all the aspects of the fan that actually matter, like how the airflow pattern comes out of the fan. It is just a very simplistic view of a fan and in my opinion, isn't particularly applicable to computer cases, but a lot of other reviewers do this sort of test, and I want to have the data set for, well, all of you. So in terms of the blade efficiency, it is doing overall right in line with my control fan, so that is a very good result for it to be. Uh, in terms of its noise efficiency, it is a little bit noisier than my control fan, and only at higher RPMs does it really uh, deviate too far from my control fan. So overall fairly okay. In terms of its empirical waking, ranking against other fans, basically in the middle, a little bit below the middle middle, but not a bad result for it to be noise normalized. Um, obviously there are better fans, but if you limit it on thickness, you can pay attention to the fans that I have circled in green at 100%. Same sort of thing like we saw at the air coolers. It just has a limited RPM range, so it doesn't quite have the same sort of uh, overall grunt. So it's going to be ranked towards the bottom. It's not really a surprise here. Uh, CFM versus a decibel rating. Again, similar to what we saw with the air cooler testing. It does okay, uh, but lacks the same sort of grunt we really want to see from higher quality fans. But it's in line with uh, other 15 millimeter thick fans. So it's, you know, it makes sense. Now we're on to value proposition. This fan is $7. So value proposition is performance that I saw in testing divided by money. So if you're looking for any actual performance of value, you want to take a look at the earlier graphs. If you're just trying to fill out a computer case with fans to get airflow, then value proposition is a good place to take a look. And it is a high value fan in uh, case airflow testing, both at uh, noise normalized, and at 100%. At the 11 mark, it is still a high value fan because its performance is okay, and it's a very inexpensive fan, so it ranks really well. 
uh, CFM testing, it is one of the best value fans. Again, for the same sort of reasons that I've already just stated, as well as through the CPU air cooler, same reasoning here. So everything kind of lines up very consistently. That brings us to the end of the video. This is the raw data. The raw data is belonging to me. If you want to use it for your own personal use, you may go ahead and do so. If you want to use it in sort of video publication journal, I do ask that you reference me and my channel after I'm the one who generated the data. Um, so what do I think about the sand? Well, it's a great value and it performs fairly well in its limited RPM range. So if you don't need that max performance because you have realistic expectations, it does really quite well. But if you need the maximum, 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 there are better fans out there, even within the 15 millimeter, millimeter thick category. So I'll leave it up to you to decide. I'm just, I'm just presenting the data to all of you. Um, if you like what I'm doing, think about joining as a Patreon or YouTube membership. It really does help that this channel, I recently added um, to my two upper tiers of both access to my raw data. You do need to ask for access to it because right now it's a very manual process, so I need an email to grant permissions to go see it. Um, I understand that's not in the means for everybody, so just hitting the subscribe button really does go a long way in helping support this channel. Leave a comment, a like, you know, that kind of stuff. It helps this channel gain a little bit of traction because I do have future plans and growth in mind for it. Uh, other than that, if there are fans you want me to take a look at, right now I'm months down the road from testing, getting reviews out for new fans, but if you want me to take a look at something in particular, I'll try to get my hands on it. And uh, with that, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time here on Computer Tech and More.